Okay, let's first read the question. Uh, it says, Michael borrows money from his uncle. Maybe he's got a wealthy uncle. Okay, good for him. Who is charting him simple interest using the formula I equals PRT. To figure out what the interest rate R is, Michael rearranges the formula to find R. His new formula is R equals which of the following? So we can get into simple interest. It's not too complicated to explain. We don't even need to. We could talk about the fact that I is interest and P is principal, the amount you put into the loan or whatever. R is the rate and T is the time that the loan's being processed. However, none of that matters here. This could be a nonsense equation. All they want us to do is to isolate R, get it all by itself. So if I look at this, I have P times R times T. And if I want to get R all by itself, all I have to do is divide by P and T. And this will get me R. P and T cancel out, they're just one. And I divided by PT equals R. That's our answer. If you're not convinced of this, think of a simple number scenario. Let's say you have two times three times four. What does that equal? Six times four is 24. Well, structurally here, three is like my R, two is like my P, three is like my R, and four is like my T. So can I just divide by two and four? Will that get me the correct answer, right? So here, if I have two times three times four, that is six times four, 24. Divided by eight is three, and 24 divided by eight is also three. It balances. If you're not convinced, we can still cross these out. And 3 is equal to 24 divided by 8, which is true. Thanks.